hello my good people and we are back with another video and in this video I was thinking today about procrastination how I procrastinate to do stuff and I procrastinate a lot <laughs> you know I, I'll know I, I would know that there's something that I really need to do and I know that it's going to be good for me once I've done it but I will just procrastinate and not do the thing so I sat and thought and asked myself <clears throat> how can I overcome procrastination what, what techniques can I use to overcome procrastination so that I just I just do stuff you know so I did some research and I came up with 10 pointers which seem to be working for me so I thought I should share them with you guys the first thing I I usually do when I find myself procrastinate, procrastinating is just break the task down into small pieces you know maybe just break it down and say i'll do this first and then do that and then once i complete this do the next step it it usually helps a lot breaking down your task uh, into smaller pieces then it doesn't seem like a major project because i think that's that's one of the reason that we procrastinate because we think it's going to be a huge task when when you when you try and envision what you need to do you you'll be like ah it's just going to be a lot of work you know and then that's why you keep on procrastinating and not wanting to start it because you know once you start it, it, it you, you won't be able to stop until you finish and finishing might take a long time because you think it's a major it's a major project or it's a major task that you have to do so just first first steps you need to do is just break it down into small steps you know tiny bits tiny tasks that you need to complete uh, point number two which you can use to 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 fight procrastination is to just uh, set specific goals on 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 that task that you you want to to achieve just set specific goals and just say let's just say maybe you you want to start jogging and you you want to be able to maybe run five kilometers but it's been a while since you 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 started uh, since you you ran so just break it down or set goals and say maybe let me start with running a kilometer or just start walking actually that's how i usually take in because i've been wanting to jog but i've been lazy so at first i would just start by walking I walk maybe a kilometer and then maybe after a week or two increase it to two kilometers and then after three or four weeks maybe increase it to four kilometers so on so on and then maybe I'll walk for a whole month and then on the second month start joking maybe a kilometer and then walk a kilometer and then jog another kilometer and then walk another kilometer and then as you progress you see you setting goals for yourself then you start jogging two kilometers and then you walk one kilometer you see that that's how you can use goals to 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 tackle procrastination uh, point number three you can use a schedule just schedule your day just set an alarm on your phone i use a schedule all the time i know at a specific time once a message pops up and I'm like okay this is time to do this now I do that and then I mark it complete on my phone 
and then it move on to the next schedule you know i take that one off and mark it complete on my phone that also helps with procrastination and another thing you can use point number four is that you can use time management uh, time management techniques like uh, Pomondora is it called Pomondora techniques yeah where maybe you work for let's just say 20 minutes or 25 minutes or 30 minutes and then you rest for like five minutes and then you work another 30 minutes and then you you rest for another five minutes it's up to you it's it's either 30 minutes or 15 minutes or 20 minutes whatever minutes where you you feel you can focus the longest i usually work for for like three hours straight that's my focus span and i can push it to four hours and then i rest for like 30 minutes and then I go back again for like three hours or, or maybe four hours again and then rest another uh, 30 minutes. So that's how I, I, I usually use the technique. Uh, another thing that also helps is <coughs> eliminating distractions. You know, identify what distracts you the most. Maybe your phone, WhatsApp you have notifications coming in every time something comes in you take your phone you look at messages uh, you know eliminate distractions social media try to not open tabs on your computer if you're working on your computer try not to open tabs on on facebook or instagram or twitter which is called x by the way i, I can never get that one right <laughs> but it's fine so yeah, you can uh, avoid distractions, you know, things like that. Just put your phone on silence and say, focus for an hour and then you work, you work through that by, by avoiding distraction. Uh, point number six, find your, I, I would say it's, a, it's an optimal working environment where you feel comfortable to work maybe it's it's your it's an office or maybe it's it's a room a specific room where you feel comfortable and able to focus you know on 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 uh, without any distraction find an environment maybe it's outside uh, in the nature or maybe by the sea or by well i don't think anyone can focus working at the beach like those gurus make it like seem very fun but i don't think so it's very windy and sometimes it's hot and humid believe me i know i stay by the beach <laughs> so yeah but you get my, my my point you can maybe find a bench outside in under a tree where it's quiet find an environment where you feel like you can optimal you can optimize your your productivity uh, point number seven in which you can help you fight procrastination is try to reward yourself for achieving small tasks maybe let's just say you focus for 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 20 minutes and then you completed a task reward yourself you know maybe you did a task for an hour and you achieved success on it reward yourself with something maybe reward yourself with fruits which is healthy or maybe reward yourself with playing a game maybe on 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 your phone i usually play candy crush that game is addicted i think i'm on level 1000 and something now if not if i'm not mistaken but i hardly play it because once i open candy crush my time just i can be stuck on it for more than 10 minutes or 20 minutes anyway i'm digressing but you get the drift reward yourself for for finishing tasks that also helps with procrastination 
uh, another one is uh, practice self compassion you know self compassion can help you fight procrastination because if you fail to achieve something you can just say ah at least be kind with yourself and say you trying and just aim to be better don't beat what i'm trying to say don't beat yourself up for not being able to achieve a task in a, in a specific time because that will also lead to procrastination because you'll be feeling bad that you are not hitting your mark or you're not achieving your goals or you're not finishing your task so yeah self compassion is very important in in fighting procrastination just know just aim to do better next time and just say okay fine I didn't get it this time around but the next time I'm definitely going to get it right yeah that's that's another one so and number nine I think am I on number nine I think so uh, or ten okay it's fine uh, just visualize you know when every time you feel like not doing something or procrastinating just visualize yourself completing that that task and how would it feel or how would it look like when it becomes successful and once you complete it that alone should be able to 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 just drive you into just doing it and completing it because you want to see it done you know yeah i think that's that's another technique that i usually use just visualize visualize that thing complete and done and i'll be smiling to myself and be like okay let's get this thing done and i'll just get into it you know and another another thing that uh, might lead to you know when you procrastinate sometimes you you start something thinking it's a small thing and then once you start doing it and then you realize Ooh, this is going to be a task and a half and then you start it and then you don't finish it and then you start you you, you start procrastinating and just making excuses why you're not completing something you know that i think that would help a lot if you start breaking it down like i said on my first i think that was my first point to just break that has down into smaller pieces to smaller tasks yeah and i think okay let's go with the last the last uh, point which you can use to fight procrastination just seek support that's 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 the thing or find someone this usually helps find someone who can who can hold you accountable for what you want to achieve just tell that person listen uh, i want you to hold me accountable because i've been procrastinating for quite a while to do this thing on this day i want to start doing this thing and i want it to take me a week to do or i must complete it within a week from starting on that day and then that person can just not you every now and then remember you said you were going to do this you said you were going to do this you are procrastinating you need to start you know they keep reminding you or they help you with other techniques that can help you fight procrastination yeah i think those are my 10 techniques which i usually use to fight procrastination you can try them and see if they work for you if they do kudos to you anyway that's the video for today thank you for tuning in if you enjoy these videos don't forget to hit that like button subscribe turn on the notification and peace i'm out of here